Hey, you know who's here today? Evil Dave Letterman. Good morning, Howard. How are you doing? How are you doing, Dave? How you doing, buddy? This, uh, how do you like being a dad? Man, I'm telling you, I, I, I love uh, my new son. Uh, do you know what I, I did for my Christmas card? I, uh, I, I posed him uh, in a picture. And, uh, you know, cutting down a, a Christmas tree with a chainsaw, and, you know, he didn't want to do it. So I, I, I smacked him with a newspaper and said, you know, what's wrong with you? Do you, do you want to grow up and, and be a fag? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, you taught him. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, and I don't like that word you use, but right. you, you, can, you were telling me you could tell when a guy is gay? Well, I just, you know, I, 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 I just want to ask you, you know, by the way, who is that guy you had on from uh, uh, American Idol last week? Was it Ryan Seaman or something? Is that it? Ryan Seacrest? Yeah. Oh, Ryan Seaman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I think he's seen more DNA uh, on his chin than a, than a sperm bank technician. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> the, the only thing straight on him uh, is, is his penis when he sees man ass. <laughs> well, yeah, we had Ryan Seacrest, and a lot of people think he's gay. I don't think he's gay. Yeah. By by the way, uh, Howard, I just want to say one thing. I, I heard that that story about uh, Artie and the bank robbery. Yeah, that was dumb, huh? What's yeah. the What's the dumbest thing you ever did? I don't know. You just reminded me of the time that I, I raped three nuns. Uh, you know, it was a prank. And after I raped the nuns, I, I told them it was a joke. Man, did we all have a good laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Artie's story. Yeah. Hey, give the bank bank teller a, a note saying I have a gun and I want I money. Want right. But it's a joke. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a jokester. Yeah. So being a dad has changed you? I, I, think, I think being a dad has made me a better person. You know, I, I used to wish that uh, Jay uh, Leno would, would die of stomach cancer. Now I, I, I just wish he'd uh, slam into a, a wall head first uh, while riding his motorcycle. <laughs> well, I, I, I think I've grown as a person, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Letterman, everyone, stopping by. Nice That's great. Good back. seeing you, pal. Good to be back. You know, I'm noticing that Dave is edgier today than he was when he was on the show for your birthday. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? He's a little he's a little edgy. Well, it was the birthday show. Yeah. So. Hmm. Exactly. He cleaned it up on Monday. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Howard, I, did you get that canned ham I sent you over? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what were you doing up in uh, Harlem? You I, 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 well, you know, I, I like to go uh, up to Harlem uh, in my limo and sit there on, on a block of, uh, of Puerto Rican uh, welfare recipients and yell out, I'm richer than all you Latinos put together. I could buy and sell your entire family. <laughs> <laughs> is that fun? That is easy. Sure. Yeah. Hey, meanwhile, you missed a great party. Robin made me a party where we had wine from the Napa Valley wow. and there were vines hanging on the ceiling. You should have seen this oh, thing. Oh, man. You know, I understand Robin likes wines. Hey, Robin, you know, my DNA tastes like a, a 1965 uh, uh, Cabernet. Uh, interested? <laughs> <laughs> A cabinet. Yeah. Cabinet. Yeah. I owe Casey twenty dollars. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we had a little bet on the word cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why after you get it, yeah. We were going to do a thing. Guess how many times Evil Dave makes a mistake? Right. But I think it would have been too much. Blown his mind. Uh, Cabin yeah. By the way, Howard, I, I have a question. Yeah. yeah I, I, I have a question. How did how did Lou Gehrig's uh, body uh, know to die of Lou Gehrig's disease? I don't know. That's a good question. You should answer nice. that on your show. Yeah. So, uh, you going to marry that broad that you're with? Uh, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I got to do something here. Uh, it's uh, So, meanwhile, this guy, Evil Dave, yes. comes to town and he's obsessed with the real Dave Letterman. Right. I'm going to break character for a second because I think at this point everyone knows. going to break the fourth wall? Yeah, I'm going to break... I'm going to break the illusion. Let everybody in on it. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't really Dave Letterman. It's the guy who plays Dave Letterman. Right. So this guy, Dave, his name happens to be Dave, too. <laughs> he comes to town, and he tells KC, what happened? You, you always go over to the Letterman show, right? Oh, yeah. You got to. So why do you go to the Letterman show? I don't know. Do you actually go in, or do you just stand there? Huh? I just, you know, I just stand there. I'm just, I'm just begging for money, Robin. That's what I did. <laughs> he goes there because he sounds like Dave Letterman. Right. Yeah. So, and don't forget the last time I was on Letterman, Letterman wanted to call him and everything. Right. So now he's all obsessed. He used to go to Letterman and, and like, keep quiet. 
So he goes over to Letterman. Casey, you tell the story. Hey, wait, Dave. Did they tell you not to come back one time? What? Did they? Did they tell you not to come back? My hand to God. They never said that. Are you sure? Honest to God. Maybe, maybe behind my back, but I never had it said. Okay. You know, to me in front. Uh, Dave, <laughs> in front. <laughs> so, Dave. So, what did you say to me yesterday when, huh? when I saw you? Well, I just said, I said, you want to, you want to drop by and, and and see if we. Can no, that this was the opportunity. What? Oh, I said it was the opportunity of a lifetime. Right. It was like it was like Christmas a month late. No, because he showed me a piece of paper. He had went down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, what are you saying, Casey? You're telling a horrible story. I don't understand story. what's going on. What are you so telling I me? I see Dave yesterday, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, he comes in, and the first thing he has to say to me is, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. I have a present for you. You have to come with me. We're going to go down and stand in line. We're going to go to Dave Letterman. Yeah. That's Why is that an opportunity of a lifetime? I don't, I don't know. So did you go with him? No. There you so go. he went down to Letterman? Yes. And he told him that he was the Dave Letterman from the Howard Stern Show. Right, right Dave? Yeah, I guess. You guess yeah. you weren't there. All right, I, said, yeah, I yeah, guess whatever. Right. Guess what I said. It. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so I guess they let him in. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he, 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 I saw him this morning, and he was ecstatic. I mean, the yeah. guy was on cloud nine because you met who? I, 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 they brought him into the green room. You that's told right. me. They're oh, the worst really? storyteller. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Wait a minute. I met, they I didn't met. just take him in and put him in the audience. So I guess. They, so what happened? You went there. Right, and I went there. Who do you yeah. tell that you're the Dave Letterman uh, from the Howard Stern show? Oh, I don't know. I, I said I said to one of the one of the girls uh, that I I had met before I talked to and. Uh, you know, I said uh, I, I wanted to say hi uh, to everybody and all that, and then they said, you know, all of a sudden I'm, I'm going into the green room, <laughs> getting Grinder Girl's phone number or something. Who's Grinder Girl? Uh, Some Grindr, Grindr regular, Girl. Yeah, regular yeah, on the show. On the show. You know, yeah. So were you in there with all the regulars? Oh from the yeah, show? I was. I was. You know, I was hanging with them and stuff like that. I was. And what do you do? You all we, were making, we were making prank phone calls on their cell phones, things like that. You know. They wanted me to call their boyfriends and stuff. I don't know. As David. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell them I was a bill collector or a wage garnish, garnish uh, lawyer or something, and, and, you know, they were late on their payments. You know, things like that. So he goes over now. He's sitting in the green room, and he's meeting, like, Paul Schaefer. Yeah, and, and Paul. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I... So Dave didn't come down and meet you? Oh, no, he, you know, he was busy. <laughs> I was going to say, he probably <laughs> met everybody. Mom likes him Dave. better, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Mom likes him better. All right, so that's uh, that was the big. So that they and then you know after the show they what they kick you out? Yeah, they kick me out. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they me out begging for money. What did Paul Schaefer say to you? Huh? What did Paul Schaefer say? Right, is Paul? You know, he was he was glad to see me. So like Dave has these weird things that he's got some connection to Letterman because he sounds like him. Yeah. And he goes down you know obsessively to see the show whenever we bring him to New York. Right. I happen to like it's a good yeah. show. Yeah. And now he wants me to call the real Dave Letterman and convince him to have him on the show to read a top ten list. Oh, God. Oh, he wants you to Please. do that. Stop yeah, like, I'm going to do that. Dude, just so I can tell you right now, that's never going to happen. <laughs> I'm not making any phone call to I Dave understand. Letterman. You know what? I the understand. only thing I was thinking was, thank God you didn't know that Dave was coming in the other day because you would have had him here. And I would have been a nightmare. Right, no. Absolutely. You gotta ask Dave who we should call over there. Who is it? Huh? What's the guy's name we should call over there? Uh, just, I don't know. No, Vinny? Uh, Vinny? What's his last name? Uh, Vavale? Vavale? Right. Yeah. Oh, Vinny Vavale? Vinny Vavale? You, you thought I'd screw it up again, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you? You thought I'd go over like a pregnant pole while there's what you're trying to tell us. No, you did that one right. Thank you very much. You gotta understand, this is his life's dream. That's right. When you were on Letterman last time, yeah. and remember they got Evil Dave on the phone, they were gonna yeah. put him on? When I called Evil Dave, he was at work. I thought he was going to finish in his pants, Howard. Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. You don't know what this means. Yeah. Oh, it was weird. I was going out there. Out of the mail room. And Letterman, <laughs> Letterman's people go, do you, want Dave, do you want Evil Dave on the phone with you? I go, well, you guys do sure. I mean, I don't have any agenda plan. Uh -huh. I would have had. I would have written a couple of lines for Evil Dave to right. say or something to the real Letterman. I go, well, they go, well, we'll put him on hold. And if we need him when we're out there, you could use him. And I went, okay, but... I mean, I was that you was not. You couldn't imagine a time where you'd call and say, or say, yeah, let's put Evil Dave on. The so phone. in the commercial, Letterman goes to me, "Do you want this guy to be up on the phone?" I go, "If you guys do, but I don't have anything planned with him. I mean, I don't know." But Evil Dave, is there anything in life that you would want more than that? I mean, that's probably the biggest thing you want in your life is to get yeah, on the show. Well, you know, it's, it's it would be nice to uh, meet him and, and say hi. <laughs> you know, why? Yeah. And what why though? I don't know. Why, Why not? not? Why not? Just to say you, you did it. I don't what, know. What would you say to him? Huh? What would you say to him? I'd ask him if he'd autograph something for me, you know, sign it Regis. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Yeah. But he's Letterman 24 hours right. a day. Yeah. And then he wants to meet the guy. Yeah. Yeah, Vinny. 
this guy's, this guy's borderline insane. <laughs> Did he talk up? I don't care if you're on a bus. He's on the bus. No, I mean, they got sleepers all around. But listen, he was introducing himself to everyone yesterday, telling the same joke over and over, right. begging to be put on the show. What was the joke? Oh, and I was, what was that line you kept on using, Evil Dave? You know, if you don't get it, you, know, you get it on the way home. You're telling whatever. the story. I don't know. Go ahead. You're telling the story. What? If you don't get it early, get it on the way home? Is that what you said? Yeah, I guess I don't know. So, Vinny, you guys brought him into the green room? Well, you know, he's kind of a distraction out there on the line with the Dave voice. So, you know, we figured he might enjoy being back there for a change and get him out of the way. How come Dave all your cookies? I thought Dave was all fascinated with him. And didn't you want to meet him? No. <laughs> Who wants to be this guy? <laughs> <laughs> you want to be shaver, apparently. I got to get a haircut anyway. All right, thank He's you, man. actually scary. Like, I thought he was a normal guy. The man's a little off. <laughs> yeah, as opposed yeah. to a guy. You're, like, you're a lawyer, and yeah. I'm a little off. Okay. <laughs> I love a guy you. in a stolen <laughs> sport jacket whispering on a bus. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, Evil Dave is with us. Thank Let's you. go back to pretending he's Dave. All right. Yeah, that's a lot better that way. Thank you. Maybe you can get a glass of Cabernet with Vinnie Favale. Yeah. <laughs> Favale. Uh. Craig. Dude, I tried to do that once, and I ended up feeling like such a dick because of it. No, well, that's what Evil Dave does. He goes down to the Letterman show. I don't think he's got that dick factor working for him. The fact that you sound like Letterman, I don't think Letterman cares. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I should have known better than to trust a lawyer. What do you think? You're going to become a, a good friend of Dave's if he hears you? And I he don't know. Like yeah, what's your fantasy? Be honest. What's your uh, fantasy that Dave's going to meet you and what's going to happen? I just, I don't know. I just, you know, I just you'll be a regular on the show. Well, it's, you know, it's just, you know, it's like a fantasy of. I don't know, being married more than twice in your life. I don't know, just, you know. No, answer the question. <laughs> what? Really. What are you doing? I, what? I don't know. It's, it's so just what a lifelong you can... goal. I don't know. No, you go down to Letterman every time you're here, and you stand on line, and you're waiting for something to happen. What is it you want to have happen? I don't happen? know. I don't yes, want you anything do. to happen. No, yes, I swear to God, I don't. Do. I, you I, must I admire have the man. I admire you. I just, it ain't no big deal. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to happen. I know that. But what do you want to What happen? do you want to have happen? I have no idea. I really don't. It's fine. No, yeah, I'm he's not. He's not going to tell us. You want, I, you want to do God. the top ten. What? You want to do the top ten. Sure, if it happens. And then you figure it might work into, like, you be a regular on the day. Yeah, that, then I, that's right, Robin. Then I could do it in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying you know to talk to him? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, that's a good question. This Kinnison might be the best impression I've it's ever great. I've ever heard. It is great. It is good. What about Evil Dave's Dave? Well, I'm not sure it's an impression. Yeah, you know, that's just his voice. Right, yeah. No, but he. No, he. Actually, do you have a, do you have a, a, a real another voice? voice? Huh? Do you have another voice? Yeah, I talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got to go through puberty. All right, Evil Dave is with us, and it's great to see you. And we're going to take a little. You want to do a top ten for us? I'd love to do a top, top ten, 10 reasons right. to have a dog instead of a wife. Exactly. Oh. Go ahead. Top ten reasons to have a dog instead of a wife. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, number 10, if you uh, bring another dog home, your dog will play with both of you. I don't get that. <laughs> number... well, it, what do you mean you don't get you it? Don't get I, I, that? Yeah, I get it. That's very All right. Number 9, sensitive. dogs uh, like to get petted. That ain't right. <laughs> number 8, a dog's uh, parents never visit. Well, hey, that could work out pretty good. Do you have to comment on everyone? No, I'm 10 sorry. reasons to All have right. a dog yeah, instead of a wife. Is this the first time he's read this? He's yeah. like no, going no. over. Like he does in the writing. All, right. All right, screw it. Number seven, if a dog leaves you, uh, it will not take half your stuff. Number six, dogs are not allowed in Bloomingdale's. Number five, a dog will number five, a dog will not care uh, if you call it by another dog's name. <laughs> yeah. Number ten reasons to have a dog ten instead reasons. of a wife. Exactly. Good. Number four, a dog will never let you put a studded collar on it. <laughs> A dog will let, we'll you, let you. But a dog, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I did it. All right. All right, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> All right, number three. Number three. Dogs can't talk. There, that was easy enough. Good. Number two. Dogs like it when you leave uh, things uh, on the floor. <laughs> and the number one reason, Howard, Robin, and Artie, uh, to have a dog instead of a wife. The later you come home, the more excited they are to see you. Well, there you go. All right. Good for you, Dave. Congratulations on getting through that. That yeah. <laughs> was the first top ten list we bailed on. <laughs> All right. We're going to be uh, back right after these words. Oh, rub it. Ugh. That's hot. Rub oh, it. Oh, that feels so good. Okay. I'll rub it with my foot. 
<laughs> oh, maybe we should put a blanket over us first. It is a little bit windy out here. Evil Dave actually has his pants off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She sounds a little like my daughter, by the way. Oh, God. What? Oh, Thank you. <laughs> oh. Is she real hot, too? Oh, oh I, don't that's I never see her at home anymore. Yeah. She's out oh. on a boat. She's on the boat. Yeah, she's camping. Okay, I want you to stick it in. Oh, 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 oh. Dave is raising his power. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I, well, well, put your hand It's up. distracting. Right, I'm sorry. I, I just was going to say, you know, you know what that, that heated toilet would be perfect for? Uh, Newark uh, Airport would get more people to travel. Hey! <laughs> Hey, uh, dude, uh, honestly, right. we're going to stick to the lines, aren't we? Stop Seriously, raising stop your it. hand. All right. I know you sat in the green room yesterday, but you know what? That doesn't really mean jack squat. You once dude it on an airplane. Oh, sure. I, I have uh, about four times in my yeah, I illustrious duding career. Oh. All right, let's let Evil Dave do another top ten. That's what All he's right. waiting for. He's All right. Thank you. This is, what is this called? Uh, the category here, Howard, these are... Uh, Top ten things to say now. Things to say uh, to Star Jones while having sex. Well, these are things you would say to Star Jones while having sex. Exactly. Uh, Here we go. Uh, number ten, do you always fart like that when someone uh, shoves it in a bad place? <laughs> number nine, how come it's so big in there? Number eight, is that cat food? <laughs> that cat food. Number seven, uh, do you know what a douche is? Yeah, I guess you would say that, though. Yeah. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, number six, maybe uh, if you lose some weight, I could get it all the way in. Oh. <laughs> 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 all right, now you're rolling, buddy. Yeah, all right. Uh, number five, uh, next time I come over, don't bother with the underwear, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Thank you. Number four, you've always done this with a lot of guys before, right? Number four, you've done this with a lot of guys before, right? All right. Yeah. Number three, you're great in bed, but your sister gives better oral. <laughs> that ain't right. Number two, what are those blisters on your privates all about? Oh. And the number one thing, uh, Howard, Robin, and Artie, uh, to stay to Star Jones while having sex, I've never, met a, I've never seen a fat broad with hairy boobs before. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, All right. Yeah. All right, not bad. Come on, give Thank the guy a break. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. All right. wonderful. He had his moment. Yeah. You ever make a duty on an airplane? Oh, uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I use the air sick bag. <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you ever make a duty anywhere before? Yeah, yeah. I just pulled out the air sick bag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what you ever make a duty anywhere well you know I, I i i i word of advice since we're talking about duties you know i, I don't uh, don't go into that men's room yeah because i i just made a duty uh so bad it it, it cracked two mirrors and uh i call uh, you know i call those a uh, code uh brown alert i ordered some uh chinks uh takeout last night and uh, you know it's been shooting out of my butt ever since i you know i think i've got a touch of uh mad cat disease <laughs> All right. Why don't you take a rest, guys? Yeah. Buddy, I appreciate it. All right. Nice. Good man. All right, Evil Dave wants to say I something. Just, I just want to, I got an idea to get John to stop smoking. And and this will be a nice reward for John. If if John can quit smoking, he, he gets a, a breathalyzer tre uh, test from a stripper. How about that? That's a, that's a, that's Where a, is that I, written down? No, I just, you know, just oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know. A little incentive Anytime for the guy. Anytime that hand goes up, we should ignore it. Just ignore the hand. Don't put your hand up anymore. I'll call on you. All right. Put your hand down. And Pam Anderson. <laughs> now, Pam Anderson, was a, that's a stretch. <laughs> yes, Dave. I, I just want to ask John one question. <laughs> John, did, did they all pay for the cab fare? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Evil Dave Letterman. Nicky Zeri. Dave, what's going on with your production company? I just, yeah, I just want to, yeah, we're going to give it a plug because uh, <laughs> have, have you ever heard of this guy? What's his name? Uh, Craig Kilborn? Because uh, someone uh, told me today that, that he works for me, but I, I've never heard of the guy. He, he's a white guy, right? Yeah, he's yeah. a white guy. He works, he's on the show after you. <laughs> yeah. 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 And by the way, Howard, what the heck uh, is the deal with that Britney Spears? She, you know, she's turned into a little whore all of a sudden. You know, if I had to knock off one piece of ass uh, behind the old lady's back, she would be it. Normally, I, I just, you know, like to sit in front of my CB radio in a leather thong and butt plug and talk dirty uh, while I masturbate. 
<laughs> Dave Letterman, everyone, watch the show tonight. Where he can't be as outrageous there. Very right? nice. Yeah, you won't hear these. <laughs> Do you talk, do you know any of the other talk show hosts? I know you know Leno, but you don't talk to well, him. Well, you know, I, I bet Jimmy Kimmel uh, five hundred grand that uh, I, I could uh, kill a homeless person and get away with it. You want some of that action? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Here wow. You. Yeah. Go. You know, you know, Howard. I had a I had a drinking uh, problem like Artie for a while, but you know, there's there's nothing like uh, waking up uh, to a fat, uh, naked Mexican guy with uh, you know nipple clamps uh, to sober you up. So you don't drink anymore, uh, or, right. or less either. All right, that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think even Dave could have banged Crystal Bernard, too. Huh? <laughs> He'd be Crystal Light. <laughs> there you go. All right, Robin, let's find out the news. <laughs> Gay is a French horn. <laughs> what? what was that? Gay is a French horn. Melanie Griffin? Oh, Mr. Blackwell. Hey, Dave, uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> right, I'm going to put you in the green room. Really? Who told him to speak? <laughs> I want to thank Evil Dave. Thank you, Evil Dave. Howard, I just want to say I, I thank you for having me. My nipples are very sore this morning. I let Harry suck on them last night just to keep him quiet. All right, that's your <laughs> new son, Harry <laughs> yeah. Letterman. Is that yeah. Dave Redman? <laughs> I want to thank Gilbert Godfrey, who will be appearing at Caroline's in Manhattan tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. We take a reservation call 212-757-4100. Tomorrow... I'm there for a big riff. <laughs> tomorrow, Carmen Electra and Dave Navarro. <laughs> Stuttering John, you had sex with them, didn't you? <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was going to. <laughs> Carmen said, what's a grotesque guy like you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, buddy. You've earned your cab fare home. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? All right, Dave Letterman. Jesus. See you in a year. <laughs> it's a drive-by bombing. All right, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Letterman's on the phone. I know he came to the hospital when you were ill. He's on the phone right yeah. now? Yeah. He's following you everywhere. Oh, my God. Hi, Dave. Can I talk to Tara? Yes. Hi, Tara. It's, it's Dave. Hi, Dave. I, I, I've got my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, are you, what are you wearing? Dave, <laughs> how are you? I, I'm real good, Howard. It was a, an upsetting thing when she went off the side of the... Uh... I, 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 I'm telling you. Tara? Yes. What, what are you wearing? Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not wearing my snowboard clothes. She's wearing a see-through top. Oh, that's, that sounds sexy. <laughs> how, how is your mouth? What do you mean? Well, I, I'm not wearing anything but, but uh, a pair of shoes and, and some black socks. You're wearing shoes and black socks? Yeah. Tara? Yes. Tara, can you say Daddy's girl's been a bad girl? Why don't you take off your panties? Oh. oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Dave, you're out of control today. Hey, Dave, thanks for the roses. I, that was I, very I think sweet. I'm having a great time. That was very sweet of you. Yeah. I, I, I you're think very I might sweet, have man. To get some uh, hair gel and do something to myself. <laughs> you do it with Careful. hair gel? And by the way, I'd like to go on record right now and say that Tara wasn't hurt during the accident. She was just trying to fake an injury so she can uh, call a lawyer and uh, sue the pants off at CBS. Go ahead, sue you, bitch. I don't care. I don't. No, I did it for you. I heard anyway. it was Sweeps Week or something, you know. So I figured, you know, I. Were you ever thinking of suing the Letterman Show because you went off the side of that thing? Um. No, but I was really, really mad. Why? Did why? Um, well, one, I was in pain. Right. And I had people, way too many hands all over me, which you might like. What do you mean? But, well, you know, you get injured and everybody wants to hold you down and strap your head down and rip off your clothes. and. Oh, at the <laughs> hospital you're talking about or like the yeah, Letterman staff? I got completely, clothes? all my clothes just got completely cut off me. Well, that's what and they do because they don't what's know going. what's wrong with you. You've just taken a fall. You could have a broken neck, a broken back. They yeah. don't want to move you. Exactly. we got to start doing that, that on the show. we got to start. Understand. we got to start injuring chicks. Tri trip them and, <laughs> and then trip them cut, and cut off their up clothes. their clothes. <laughs> yes, Dave. Yeah, can I just say one thing? You know, that, that crazy woman who called herself Mrs. David Letterman? Yeah. She tried to ruin my life, but she couldn't do it. You know why? Because I've got balls. That's right. I've got balls. Do you have balls? Uh, of course not. You're just a stupid little girl who rides on a, a piece of wood. Uh, down actually, the hill. why are you? Actually, to actually some sort of people would say her balls. Why are you? Why are you insulting her? I just uh, no. Why don't you stay home and, and have babies like God intended instead of trying <laughs> to you know, make a name for yourself doing a, a totally uh, 
you know, useless <laughs> skill. Sounds like I'll Dave is mad. Home and be Mr. Mom and bake cookies and uh, change diapers. Ugh. See how much money you get out of me, you know, when I when I ain't on TV anymore. Right. Wow. If she was so goddamn sick, why is she out of the hospital? <laughs> you know, when I was sleeping in the hospital room, I, I, I pulled uh, back her blanket, yeah. pulled her hospital gown you know, and uh, used my toe on her. <laughs> you used your toe on her oh, when she was unconscious? Oh, I would man. Say, it's it's a good thing I was on crap. morphine, and I don't remember that. Did you know that Dave used his toe on you and pulled back your blankets when you were uh, unconscious? No, thank God I don't remember. Right. Yeah. And, um, by the way, Tara, I just one other thing. Do you know who the worst call of the Super Bowl was? No. When Justin Timberlake didn't go for two. <laughs> oh, crap. I got to go. The, the battle axe uh, um, who had this uh, baby is coming. All right. Bye-bye, no. Dave. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Dave. That feisty Dave. What a nice right. call. Yeah.